Hi, today we have Suzuki Splash. I'm going to show you how to change rear brake shoes. First we are going to remove the rear wheels. After removing the wheel, now we can remove the metal cap. Now you can see the nut. To open the nut we use a 30 mm wrench. And now we can remove the we have removed the brake drum and you can see the brake shoes are at minimum and also the handbrake here is stuck it's not braking at all first we are going to remove the springs lower spring upper spring then we can remove uh, this spring side springs that holds the brake shoes and we can remove the brake sh we have removed the brake shoes now the last thing is to do is to remove this adjuster uh, we are going to this one is working well we are removing it and then we are going to install the new brake shoes here we have new brake shoes first we are going to install a self adjusting first we install the side springs that holds the brake shoes in place now we can install the upper spring and the lower spring after installing the upper and the lower spring now we can adjust on the self adjust mechanism we are going to first adjust the tolerance between the brake shoes and the brake drum and after that the self-adjusting mechanism is going to work by itself first we are going to try Now the drum has to move freely, but the tolerance between the brake shoes and the drum has to be very small. Now we can try like this, you can see that the bearing is fully moving. That means that the tolerance between the brake shoes and brake drum is very big. That's why we are going to remove the drum again and we are going to adjust on the mechanism after readjusting you can see that the drum is moving freely and the tolerance is very small we are finished from this side install the nut tighten the nut very well we have tightened the nut. Now we install the metal cap. Install the wheel. Now we do the same thing from the other side. And then we can check the handbrake inside. 